advised you are walking into a cult today. Be advised, ladies and gentlemen, there's a cult right here in the neighborhood. Ekanka is a cult, it's right here in the neighborhood seducing souls. You are sending souls to hellfire. This religion is a lie from the pit of hell. This religion annoys God. This religion irritates God. God is angry with this religion right here. This religion again is a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. It's right here in front of you. A fraud, a lie. Your founder is a lie, is a deceiver from the pit of hellfire. It's time for you to know Jesus Christ of the Bible. Because after you die, you're going to go straight to hellfire. This religion is sending souls to hellfire. It's a lie. It's not a religion of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a fraud. It's time for you to know your neighbors cult members right here across the street. This religion is a cult, a lie from hell. You're sending souls to hellfire. You can come closer, be a bold man. You don't have to stay up there. I'm peaceful, you can come closer. Talk to me about your religion if you like to. Your religion is nothing but a lie. It's nothing but a fraud. From the pit of hellfire, you're seducing souls and you're sending souls to hellfire. Jesus Christ is angry with this wicked religion. Ekanka is a lie. It's not a religion of the Lord Jesus Christ again. This religion is nothing but a lie from the pit of hellfire. There is no reincarnation. The Bible says it is appointed unto man wants to die after this comes the judgment once you die there is no reincarnation you're teaching a lie you're teaching a fraud you're sending souls to hell fire you're alive from the pit of hell come out from your hiding place jesus christ can save you today jesus christ can forgive you today you need to get on the narrow way, on the straight way, on the narrow path, which is Jesus Christ. Ekanka is a lie. It's a cult, cult members right here in the neighborhood. You want to come out of this wicked religion. A religion of lie, Jesus Christ, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life. It's time for you to know Jesus Christ. There is no any other way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He's the only way, the Son of the living God. It's time for you to know this Jesus Christ. Because once you die, He's going to judge you. He's going to judge your life. And he's angry with the wicked, the Bible says. Jesus Christ is angry with the wicked every day. Every day this religion annoys Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not pleased with this religion. Cult members right here in the neighborhood. It's time for you to come out of the cult. Their name, they're sending you to hellfire. It's time for you to come out of this religion. This is not the religion of Jesus Christ. This religion is a lie from the pit of hellfire. And they're sending you right straight to hellfire. It's time for you to be born again. Jesus Christ says, except a man is born again, he shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you want to seek the living God, the true God, you will find Him. He's not far from us. He's not too difficult to be found. The Bible says, seek the Lord while He may be found. 
Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let them seek the Lord. Turn from this religion is a call, is sending you to hellfire. It's time for you to know Jesus Christ. There's not any other way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. All other religion is a lie. Ekanka is a lie. It's a deceiver. It's a seducer. So right here across the street is lying to souls. Time for you to be born again. Time for you to know Jesus Christ before you die. After you die, he's going to put you right into hell, right into hell fire. You're going to be in hell fire forever and ever, the Bible says. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Reincarnation again is a lie. We don't find reincarnation in the Bible. Reincarnation is a lie. You want to come out of this religion? This religion is sending you to hell fire. You can be born again today. You can be saved today. You can be forgiven of your sins today. Because this religion will send you right into hellfire. We don't want hellfire for you, sir. This religion is a lie. It's not the way. You want to know Jesus Christ? This religion teaches things that the Bible forbids. The Bible forbids this religion. If you don't come by Jesus Christ, you're on your way to hellfire. You can know Jesus Christ today. Jesus Christ was born of the virgin birth, Virgin Mary. He lived a sinless life. He suffered, he died for our sins. On the third day, he rose again from the grave, the Bible says. And you can know this Jesus today. You can be forgiven of your sins today. You can be washed in his blood today. He's the only way to God. The God you're following is Satan. You're not following Jesus Christ. You're following a false religion. You're following a wicked religion. A religion that will send you to hellfire. It's time for you to be born again. It's time for you to know Jesus Christ is coming back to judge the world. He's coming back to punish sinners with everlasting destruction. You want to be saved. You want to be born again. You want to know Jesus Christ. This religion is a lie, sir. I love you. I care about you. I hope you get your religion examined. I hope you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Only through him you can be saved. Only through him you can be born again. This religion is teaching you lies, it's teaching you false, witchcraft, occult. That's what this religion is all about. But you can be born again today, you can know Jesus Christ today. Who can forgive you? He's waiting for you to repent of your sins. This religion is part of the Babylonian system. It's a wicked, wicked religion. It's not of God, it's not of Jesus Christ. But you can be born again today. You can know Jesus Christ today. You don't need a master to find your way to God. The only person you need to know before you die is Jesus Christ. You don't need a priest. You don't need a master. Your masters are nothing but demons. You worship the demons in there. You need Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. There is only one God and one Lord, Jesus Christ. And that is the person you need to know before you die because he's going to put you into hellfire. This is a serious matter. It's a serious thing to know, to consider before you die. Your religion is a false religion.
religion is a wicked, wicked, reprobate religion. It offends God. You despise God. You reject His Son, Jesus Christ. And He's calling for you to repent. He's not willing that you should perish, but that you might come to repentance. Call to members right here across the street. You need to be aware that there's cult members right here across the street. Yes sir, are you part of this religion? What's that? Do you know the religion? I don't really know that much. I was a, I'm a Christian. You were a Christian? Yes. I'm, I am really, my, um, my father died recently. So, yeah. so um, I came to drop flowers for my mom. And I want to talk to you why why, what problem we have with these people here? We like, don't they have... Don't, they don't kill anyone. Look, they don't sell anything to anybody. Look, we don't have... So I want to understand what's the problem. We it's don't Sunday. have any... This is the Lord's Day, am I right? Praise the Lord. The Lord's Day is yes. every day. Yes, the so, Lord's Day every day. So... People, the Bible... You're African, right? Yeah. You're African. I'm African. Yeah, that's good. The, the, the Bible wasn't even our, our religion. Religion is a house that anyone can just go into. So every uh, always lead to heaven. Always, I don't, I don't really know really about. Much All right, about that's faith. why I'm here, and I'm glad you you stopped by to talk to me, right? I care. Look, this you can interpret it in different way. You can say it's a protest. I'm just preaching, right? And I'm peaceful. I'm not Muslim. I don't bomb buildings. I don't chop people's heads. These people don't either. Right? I'm peaceful. Jesus Christ commands us to preach. So I'm here to preach because. This religion, if you know the history and the practice of this religion, is against the Bible. It's against God. All they do in this religion is false, is wicked. It's against Jesus Christ. So we're calling their attention. And a lot of people don't know. They just come here. Uh, you get some spiritual experiences. Don't get me wrong. They have visions. They have dreams. They come out of their body. You know, you, are you familiar with soul travel? You heard about it? That's what they practice here. Soul travel, they go to places, they see beautiful things. But that's of the devil. The Bible says he's the angel of light. Right? So we're calling them to repent. That's all we're doing. We're not going in there to, to do any violence. I'm here peacefully. I'll preach for some minutes and I'm, I'm gone. Right? We're just presenting the Bible to them. Because a lot of them... I'm sure a lot, some of them here are honest. They're looking for God. They're looking for the true God, right? Just like you can have Jehovah Witnesses, some of them are honestly looking for the true God. You have Muslims, some of them are honestly looking for the true God, but they're going the wrong way. Jesus Christ says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So every other way is a lie. That's what we're calling their attention, and we care. If you care about your mother, you'll be doing the same thing, probably not on the street, but you'll be talking to her about this religion. Because this religion is not of God. And if you go deeper into the history of this religion, their founder is a lie. It's a lot of fraud, a lot of things he copied from Hinduism, he copied from all kinds of philosophy, he put them all together and founded a religion. But we, we care about him, them, that's why we're here. Right? We're not here, don't misinterpret this and think this is violent. We're not doing anything. I'm right here on the public easement. After a few moments, I'm gone. Right. We're just presenting a truth to them. Are you born again? Well, you can be sure if you're born again, you can be sure. You can know it. Jesus Christ says, except a man is born again, he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Do you believe that? Yes. I went to church a lot. Um, yeah, but sir, it's not my about... Family goes, my family goes... I have a, my uncle's a Jehovah Witness right now at home. See, that, morning, that's a his, problem too, Jehovah his Witness. His, his, his brother right now. Um, I think that I think that what you're doing, you, you believe in your faith. And Sir, you're trying that's the only to, true faith, the Bible, you, Jesus and Christ. That, and I understand that, I understand that. Jesus people Christ. have the, the right to choose. Of course, we're not here telling them they don't have a right. No. I'm not there on their property, you know, fighting them. No. I'm not, I don't do that. I'm a preacher of the Bible. I go places, I preach. I don't fight. I don't do any of that thing. I just okay. preach, right? Okay. But people can choose to respond. My heart is that people respond in a good way, right? right? To know Jesus Christ because
Jesus says, this is eternal life, that you might know the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't have eternal life. But you can turn from sins, you can repent and be born again, and it's not far from us. You can call upon Him, and He, can, he will answer you, He will save you. And when that happens, something new happens inside of you. Because the Bible says, if you're in Christ, you're a new creation. You become a new person, a changed person. You become different. But if you don't, when you die, the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die. After that comes the judgment. If you die without accepting Jesus, without repenting, without putting your... We get warning all the time. Tornado is coming. Hurricane is coming. That's a warning, right? It's a loving thing. And that's what we're here doing. Warning people about hellfire. It's a terrible place. I just care. That's all I'm doing. I just and I hope you study the Bible. Look, look into it, sir. Yes, thank you very much. You sound very humble and honest. To be honest with you, you're different from a lot of people I meet, and I think you're very close to God. You can find Him today. Say so today is the day of salvation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you need prayer and everything, counsel, whatever, I'm available here. I'll be, I'll be preaching here till the service starts, sir. Ma'am, you're walking into a cult. This religion is not of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've been lied to. You've been deceived by this wicked religion. The religion that promised you spiritual experiences. You have visions. You have dreams. You do soul travel, that is against the Bible. You can know Jesus Christ today, he's coming back, he will judge the world. You're following a false religion. We care about you, Jesus Christ, sir. I've seen a lot of people take pictures from far. So far you have not been bold enough to come talk about your religion. If you have the truth, if you're convinced, if you're so convinced that you have the truth, you'll be open to talk about it. But why go in hiding? Why do you hide behind closed doors? Why are you not so bold? The Bible says the righteous is bold as a lion. Why don't I see some bold people here this morning? You're hiding. Now we have a bold man, probably he's going to come. You're hiding behind close door. Good morning, sir. Morning, my friend. How about you? Sir, I care about you to tell you the truth. I care about you to tell you the truth, sir. I just come to extend a hand of friendship to you. Well, what fellowship has light with darkness, sir? <laughs> you answer. Can Where's light darkness? and darkness? darkness? Can Where's light color? can light and darkness go together? Darkness and color and and uh, lightness. I'm Where asking is darkness you? and light? The Bible says, can can we Where fellowship? Where is light and darkness? Can we fellowship with demons? Are you the dark or and, the, the, the darkness? And Jesus Christ, can we partake of the cup of Jesus Christ and of Good demons? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Can we shake hands? We don't have to shake hands. Do we have to shake hands? Sir, I'm concerned about as the, as, the son, concerned as, about as children of God together. You are a child of God. I am a child of God. I don't know about you, but I'm I a child am of a child God. of God. What God? What God? Same God. What God? How do you what know? God do, what God? What God do you, do you know? Do you serve the same God with Jehovah Witness? You see, that's the problem. I'm you asking have. you. You are. That's the problem you have. It's just Apostle a question. Paul, as Apostle Paul says. Uh, oh, you go by the Bible. Ab Apostle Paul says. By you go that by the Bible. In the third heaven, so each of the heaven has God. So what? Which God are you? Are you, are you, are I'm, you I'm asking you, I'm asking I'm, you. The same thing, I'm quoting your Bible for you. I'm not going by the Bible. I you, don't, have, you don't go by the I Bible? Don't, I don't go by the Bible. What do you go by? I go by a different thing. I mean, I have my own Bible. What kind of Bible? So, what I'm telling you is that Apostle Paul says in the third heaven. So, you don't believe this Bible, so, but you're trying to quote the Bible to me? Uh, because that is what you know. That is the only thing you know. Are you, I know so, more are you than saying the that Bible. the Bible is wrong? So, what I'm saying to you is that he is caught up in the third world and okay. in the third heaven. And that did, so, how did that uh, happen? Uh, so what I'm telling you is how that, that with God, with God, are you, 
which God of the heaven, which which level of heaven are you? So are, you are you worshiping his God? There's different gods in different heaven. Is that uh, of course, saying? definitely. When you say where heavens, do you, where do you see that? Huh? Where do you see that? Do you know about it? which which heavens do you know? Which heaven? Yeah, which heaven do you know? Jesus Christ, the Bible says, he created the heavens and the earth. Which heaven? The I, sea the, the and the dry land. Which heaven? How many heavens do you know? Okay. How many heavens have you been to? So if anyway, you, you're talking about, if, about, if you you're if talking, you're talking about heaven, so let's go let's ignorance. go there. Let's go there. You're talking Paul about talked ignorance. about third heaven, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So there has to be a second. There has to be a first. Right? Yes. So it there's, is a second, there's, there's and there's a, a third. There's, there's even a fourth, fifth, sec, I mean seventh. And where do you get that from? <laughs> that is the problem you have. Because you, no, have, not, you, have, you. Learned to, you have not learned to get out of your it's, physical it's, body. It's not that. You think the only time you, so the, sir, you get out of your physical body the, the is, to, is when you die. The Bible is against that. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the nephew of your... You're practicing it's witchcraft it's not, it's on the cultism, sir. It's not as a protection. It's not as a projection. You're having out-of-body experiences, sir. We are talking about soul moving out of his body. You, you have uh, dream experiences. You know that you can, you can experience the, the whole wide world while you are sleeping. Is, is that a so why, why you do, do you, force it? Why do you need that? Why do you need that? Why, why do, do you need why that? Why do you need to come out of your body and fly around and see beautiful? You know, you're not, you're why not do you need that? Why do when you, need you that? have a dream, have you not had a dream of prophecy? Of course, that there, there you, are dreams. That will, that will tell you that even, something will happen tomorrow? Even the, the And you know that that thing will happen tomorrow. Even the preacher says dreams come because of many business. So there's, when there's you a don't lot have a spiritual experience, with meanings, when you don't have a spiritual experience, you talk out of ignorance. There's, you can, I'm you giving can you imagine, the Bible. You can, imagine the Bible. Some, you can imagine some people, some people legally, I mean, rented this place, paid for it, legally and entitled to it, and you are provoking them by coming here and talking no, I'm giving them. you. I'm giving is you that, the is, truth, Is that sir. what God asked ask you to do? I'm giving you the truth, sir. Then I think. Better, better go inside yourself sir, and know the truth. Sir, you don't, you don't need to practice occulting. When you, when you know the truth, when you know the truth, you only, the need, truth you only you need Jesus Christ. With, you don't need a master. Truth. You don't need a master. So you only need Jesus Christ. When you know the truth, the truth will change the Sir, the masters are deceiving you. You only need Jesus Christ. So if you see people not coming to you, it's because they just leave you at your own level of consciousness. And that is that level of consciousness, you will not sir, get out of it until you decide to leave that level Do you realize that that's the same thing the occult people do? So we have a man right here, he just confirmed to us that this religion is nothing but occultism. This is an occult religion. It talks about out of body experiences. It talks about visiting different kinds of heaven, have different gods. Of course, this religion has its roots in Hinduism. Hinduism believes in a lot of different gods. For us, there is one Lord Jesus Christ, and that is who you need to know before you die. Your masters are deceivers. They control your will, they control your life. I'm not surprised that you have pictures of them in your home. You worship them. You meditate with your master's pictures. Jesus Christ says, I am the door. All that ever came before me are liars, they are thieves. Your masters are liars, they are thieves. You only need Jesus Christ. You don't need those, those, all those masters. You don't need all those experiences. You need Jesus Christ. Cult members right here across the street. We're preaching in front of a cult building a cult people you need to be aware that there is cult right here and they need to be exposed that religion is not of God it's not of Jesus Christ it is clear in the Bible the 
Bible says there is no other name given under heaven by which we might be saved. There is only one name by which we might be saved and that name is Jesus Christ. We can only be saved through Jesus Christ, not through a Kanka. Your religion is a false religion, it's a wicked religion, it's an occult religion. Right there behind you, sir, that religion. Don't ever go there if you have family member right there. The Ekanka is a lie from the pit of hell. It's a wicked religion. It annoys God. It offends God. God loved the world. He gave you His Son. But you reject His Son, Jesus Christ. You reject the Son of the living God. You go about to establish your own religion. Your own wicked philosophy. The Bible says you should beware lest anyone deceive you with vain philosophy. This religion is a vain philosophy. It's not of God, it's not of the Bible. And the man talked about Paul being caught up into the third heaven. Where in the Bible does the Bible tell you to expect the same experience, to pray for the same experience, to practice the same thing? You have been lied to by the demons. The Bible says in the last days, People will depart from the faith, they will give heed to seducing spirits, they will give heed to doctrines of demons. This religion is nothing but doctrines of demons. Your meditation is of demons. It's not of Jesus Christ, it's not of God. And God is calling your attention to repent today. You need to reject this religion. You need to come out of it. You need to come out of this wicked religion. You need to know Jesus Christ before you die. After you die, you're either going to spend eternity with God in heaven or you're going to burn forever in hell fire. Of course, we know that there is no any other name above the name of Jesus. The Bible says He is the head of principalities. He's the head of powers. He's the head of all rulers. There is no any other name equal. There's no any other name above the name of Jesus Christ. And that's the name you need to know before you die. Because after you die, it's too late. It's going to be too late for you. Jesus Christ, that laid down his life, he suffered for our sins, he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we were healed. This Jesus, you need to know. You need to be aware that there are a lot of false religion. Ekanka is not the only false religion. Islam will send you to hell. Roman Catholic will send you to hell. Ekanka will send you to hell fire. You're not going to die and come back. As a giraffe, this religion has lied to you. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. After you die, the next thing is judgment day. 
You're going to be judged by God. You're not going to come back as another creature. Jesus Christ is the judge of the living and the dead. He's going to judge the living, he's going to judge the dead. Jesus Christ. So we're pleading with you to know this Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the only begotten of the Father. There is no two ways to heaven. There's not a thousand ways to heaven. There's only one way. Jesus Christ. And that's who you need to know. You don't need all these masters controlling, manipulating, influencing you. You need Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, the one who laid his life down for you. Your leaders did not die for you. Your leaders have lied to you. They copied a lot of philosophy and put them together and founded this wicked religion. Religion that is nothing but a lie. You need Jesus Christ. You don't need this wicked religion. The spiritual experiences, even the psychic, they have the same spiritual experiences. The psychic, the mediums, the occult people, they have the same experiences. And you want to say this religion is a religion of God? It's not a religion of God. The occult people have the same experience as you do. So we are pleading with you to know Jesus Christ. Because after you die, it's going to be too late. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of Jesus Christ is a strong tower. There is no a place of defense in any religion or in any other name. Only the name of Jesus Christ is a name that you need. This religion has lied to you. You need to come out of it. It's a cult. It's a lie from hell. But you need to know Jesus Christ today. It's a cult religion across the street right there. You need to be aware that there's cult members right there across the street. Don't ever go to this cult religion. It will send you to hellfire. Oh, they welcome you with nice smile, with warm smile, friendship. But it's a lie from the pit of hellfire. The Bible says even Satan himself has transformed into an angel of light. Satan will not come to you as Satan. He will come to you as an angel of light. He will give you beautiful experiences, supernatural experiences, happy experiences. But he is wicked. Just like if you go fishing, you want to put a bait on your in your hook to catch a fish. The devil has done the same with this religion, Ekanka. Ekanka is nothing but a lie. You need to come out of it. We care about you. This religion will send you to hellfire. Jesus Christ is the only one you need to know before you die. There's a lot of religion on their way to hellfire. Jesus, Jesus Christ is the only one you need to know. This religion, Ekanka, has lied to you. The problem is people don't study their history. Even the wife of your founder, she said her husband was a fraud. The wife of 
of Pucho. She rejected this religion. She said that her husband was a fraud. Hi, ma'am, you can know Jesus Christ. You can come out of the cult. This religion is not of God. It's sending you to hellfire. You never lived in the past. And after you die, you're not going to come back as another creature. You're going to come back in the same body to be judged by Jesus Christ. And this Jesus is the one you need to know before you die. Because it's heaven or hellfire after you die. What is the evidence of reincarnation? But I can give you evidence of resurrection. When you plant a seed in the ground, that's not reincarnation. That is an evidence of resurrection. You're going to be resurrected and you're going to be judged according to your works, according to your deeds. In the false religion, Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus Christ is calling for you to come out of this wicked religion. Religion that has lied to you, religion that is sending you to hellfire. You need to come out of it. Oh, you have beautiful experiences, spiritual experiences. The psychic have the same experiences. The medium, the occult people, they have the same experiences. Are they of God also? They're not of Jesus Christ. They're not of God. The Bible says, believe not every spirit. But your problem is you lack discernment. Anything goes. You believe the demons. You're living a dream. You are sleeping. You need to wake up. You need to wake up and know Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming back to judge the world. Jesus Christ is the one you need to know. You need to come out of this wicked religion. The religion that is not of God. The religion that is not of Jesus Christ. Who else died for you? But Jesus. Jesus is the only one who died for you. And you reject him. You despise him. You choose to found your own religion. Just like the Hinduism. Just like the Buddhism, just like Islam, just like Roman Catholic, just like Jehovah Witness, just like the Mormon. You reject Jesus Christ, you choose to found your own religion. We're calling your attention to know Jesus Christ. The only one you need to be forgiven of your sins, to be saved, to be born again. But you choose your own experiences. You love your experiences. You think anything supernatural is from God. That's not the concept. Even the devil, he took Jesus to a high mountain. That's a spiritual experience, but it's not of God. It's of the devil. All you need is Jesus Christ. You don't need a master. Your masters have deceived you. They have lied to you. You need Jesus Christ. So we care about you. You can know Jesus Christ, sir. You don't have to reject Jesus Christ. 
be advised that there's cold across the street right here it's called ekanka it's a cold it's not a religion of god it's a wicked religion it promises you spiritual freedom it promises you spiritual experiences but it's not of god you're going to have the experiences you're going to have the dreams the visions you're going to have out of body experiences but it's not of god is from satan satan can do that he was an angel god created him as an angel he chose to rebel against god man we can come close we don't bite we don't bomb we don't chop people's head like muslims we are peaceful you can come closer if you like 